Hope you're not eating, because as they say, leave politics and religion away from the dinner table. Get ready to learn something very useful. So I'm Mr. A, the teacher. Uh, here's my video for the week. There's my other social media that you can check out. If you want to see more, let's get on with it. So here we are. We're learning about political science human society and its environment social studies so a little bit of everything here uh, the topic will be ideologies so we are even delving into a bit of philosophy and the concept is and there's the duck uh left wing and right wing so yeah just remember when you're learning about social studies it's about making the strange mundane and the mundane strange that was adapted from mr mills and there you go subscribe and a like would be much appreciated if this video helps you out and remember new videos up regularly so what we mean by left wing and right wing so the reason i'm making this video is because a lot of people tend to get this confused so here's my duck and why i have a duck is because he's bright positive pretty friendly and he'll help clarify things for you because it came to my attention when working in schools where students would, unbeknownst to them, be claiming that they'd be right wing when they're really left wing or claiming they were left wing when they're really right wing. And more often than not, most of them got it wrong. And more often than not, your average person probably isn't too aware of the nuances. So we'll help flesh these out. So this is Duck Duck. The left wing believe in equality for all. The right wing believe in freedom for all. Duck Duck sees what the left is saying and where the left is coming from. Duck Duck sees what and the right is saying and sees where they're coming from. Duck Duck respects diversity of opinion, agree to disagree, and engages in healthy debate not shutting down people by referring to your echo chamber so as to improve society whilst respecting others be like duck tuck <laughs> easier said than so as you're we saying left-wing belief in equality for all so here are some common beliefs equality we're all the same no one's better government intervention higher taxes to fund social programs more social support they love karl marx socialism and communism i may add here that despite my political leanings being towards the right i do think that communism in and of itself theoretically is a great thing it's the route to communism <coughs> socialism which is just a, it's a real mess helping the disadvantaged and marginalized so unions etc the separation of church and state they are pro-choice and they love their green initiatives and changing the status quo progress change revolution swing over to the right wing they believe in freedom for all some common beliefs include freedom but respect for authority less government intervention so privatization Lower taxes, leave it to market forces, laissez-faire, capitalism. Let society work it itself out. Survival of the fittest. And there's also the authority of religion. So not necessarily any religion in particular. So for example, if you were in a country where Islam is the predominant religion, say letting those in power of the Muslim religion in that particular era run the state or for example if you're letting say in a Christian country someone like a Pope or a bishop run the state they're pro-life and they're pro corporations generally because they don't like losing money and it's all about market forces and capitalism and maintaining the status quo tradition hierarchy and order so Here's the duck duck. Generally speaking, left-wing people tend to be the following. People who value equality. Right-wing people tend to be people who value freedom. It's pretty much it. 
you can stop watching now if this is a bit confusing all you wanted to know but if you want to learn more keep going actually i suggest you keep going so uh left-wing people again those are tend to be the marginalized so supporting them as they say those who are oppressed are often loudest those who are right-wing tend to be the people in power they want to keep them there they don't want to get overthrown left-wing people tend to be less wealthy so the unions uh those that are playing the game right depending on where you look at this are probably rich profiting off those beneath them and that's why uh, communism never really gets there because like the sharing bit tends to fall apart uh, those that are right-wing tend to be more wealthy so for example like ceos always trying to cut costs and fire all those poor workers uh, those who are left-wing tend to not be religiously inclined that's why they're trying to separate church and state those who are right-wing tend to hold on to their religious convictions those who are left-wing can be argued to be as not so patriotic those who are right-wing are patriotic and if you didn't know patriotic means to love thy country uh left-wing people tend to be the sjwpc police so social justice warriors whereas the right-wing people tend to be the freedom fighters or the alt-right so um it has come to recent popularity a name like Karen's so they could also be a bit right-wing that's the right-wing answer to the left-wing version which is the SJW uh, left-wing people tend to be hippies or progressives and right-wing people tend to be not so hippie people or conservatives and they say if you're young and you're right-wing you don't have a heart if you're old and you're left-wing you don't have a brain so yeah um, as you can see there is a bit of some people may have a difference so here there's some diversity here the left-wing economics style of it and the social left-wing right-wing style of it so as you saw previously there were a different amount of opinions that people could possibly hold there's lots of combinations so you might be for example pro government being run by religion but also like your unions so that would be a mix of right and left-wing values then we can break it down for social uh social left-wing and right-wing and economic right-wing so you could be economically right-wing but socially left-wing so hence you have a social compass so there's my source so it depends on where you are here so for example say you really love religion so on the social you'd be more right-wing whereas if you then love religion but love your unions that would be financially left-wing a whole bunch of combinations here moving on for example i believe in lower taxes but need more green environmental initiatives so that's economically right-wing the lower taxes bit but the green environmental initiatives is socially left-wing i believe in higher taxes for corporations and keeping religions in power so that's economically left-wing but here that's socially right-wing simple quiz it's open to its flaws but for the sake of simplicity for each question or statement give yourself a score from one to ten so if you've got a pen and paper handy or alt tab get a word document or something and make some notes keeping tab of your score so one is you strongly disagree to the statement five is you're neutral you're in the middle like yeah and ten is you strongly agree to the statement feel free to get a pen and write down your results or add along a calculator one tradition is important give your score from one to ten two authority should be respected keep adding three your country is the best if you're a dual citizen or a global citizen the country that you love the most is the best four the environment isn't that important five religion is quite important six everyone is unique we are not equal seven it's every man for themselves a dog eat dog world survival of the fittest eight things are fine the way they are 
Nine, the government intervenes too much. Ten, jail is for punishing, not rehabilitating. So add up your score. The total is 100. So what score did you get? Leave a comment below. Be really curious. I'll actually reply back to these ones because, yeah, you might learn something about yourself. The closer you are to zero, the more left wing you are. The closer you are to 100, the more right wing you are. The closer you are to 50, the more centrist. That's in the middle. So a few people are like this according to common knowledge. So I've left this blank. So uh, just some popular people. And yes, the reason I'm recording this video is also to do with the whole election, 2020 election going down. Donald Trump would be right wing. For those of you in Australia, that would be ScoMo in power. He is right of center, right wing. In the Philippines, Duterte has got some right wing leanings. In Japan, Shinzo Abe, who's recently retired, right wing. Left wing, you'd have your people like uh, Bernie Sanders, AOC, or Crooked Hillary. <clears throat> Sorry, Hillary Clinton, United States. Uh, Julia Gillard and Kevin Rudd for Australian politics would be relatively left wing. Um, yeah. And like the descriptions below generally. Also, oh, if you're from San Francisco, those hipster people in Australia and Sydney, those from Newtown, uh, they tend to be left wing. Anyone that's in PETA is pretty left wing. Generally speaking, there are exceptions to the rule. Right wing, uh, anyone with loads of cash that doesn't want to share it around. And rightfully so, if that's your business. But then think about society. So that's why sometimes, though, they might act left wing. So some business people where they might be giving to the community. But hey, if that means a higher bottom line at the end of things then it's more like an investment so yeah you never really know sometimes so instead of a thing as a line of extremities where i say there's the extreme left so there's super left wing here and extreme right this is something i learned in university think of it as a circle where it are the moderates or it is the moderates who are the most opposite so here before I had those as the middle, not the most extreme, but now look, it comes full circle. So although they may seem polar opposites, the extreme left and the extreme right have the same goal, a vision for a perfect world. They're just going about it in completely opposite ways. Why else would they have such conviction? So instead of that line of extremities, I'll just show you how it works with a nice animation here. If only my lecturer in university did this, it would be so much easier to understand. So they're very far apart ideologically, as so it seems, the extreme left and the extreme right. But think of it as a circle where the moderates, it is them who are the most opposite. So the moderate left and the moderate right are the new polar opposites. Polar opposites means super opposites opposing each other. Whereas your center or extreme people, they've come full circle and like that, they all want a perfect world. Now remember the most important thing is respect. I'm gonna wrap it up quite soon. We all come from different walks of life with different backstories. You can still be friends with others. It's called empathy. It's called very SPCT. Respect. You don't have to agree with them, but at least have the decency to see where they are coming from. That's why they often say, don't talk about politics and religion at the dinner table. Because you're going to get a lot of heated debate and discussion that probably might not go anywhere. So here's another one. Just be the bigger man. Be the bigger person. Take a step away from it if the conversation gets too heated. And just be like, agree to disagree. Let's go on. Like, I'll be honest. Some of my best friends, left-wing inclined. We have chats. We have disagreements. We agree on some things. Because we're not super extreme either way. But we leave things as is when we realize that the conversation and the ideological battle is not going to go anywhere. You know what? We're still friends. It's doable. 
So the left should not censor the truth as a way to create a fictional safe space. So the SJW is really, really guilty of this. Flip it around. The right should not use freedom of speech as an excuse to spread hate. So some of the more extreme alt-right people, turn it down a bit. We should all respect each other. We're on the big blue ball of water, Mother Earth. So speaking of Mother Earth, if nobody loves you, I'm sure Mother Earth does, or Father Earth. Anyway, what'd you learn today? If that's what somebody asks you, please don't waste a taxpayer dollar if you're going to a public school. Here's an answer. You learn about left wing and right wing. So left wing believe in equality for all. The right wing generally believe in freedom for all. And there is a mix. And it tends to be the extreme people that on first glance are the most opposite. But in reality, they want the best world. Um, so yeah, leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos if you've learned something. Here. Spread the word. Give us a shout out. Much appreciated. Also check out my Patreon. Feel free to support me if you want. But you know what's even more useful? A like and a shout out. Watching the ads helps too. If this video has been monetized, thanks for that. Special thanks and shout out to the following. So, Aspiron, Mr. P, and Mr. Celestino, my sociology, uh, my society and culture teachers, they wrote the course. And also, yeah, they taught me a lot about that. And uh, Grant McCall from UNSW, University of New South Wales, great lecture. And the lecture is there down there in the sociology department, so the Faculty of Arts. Oh, very, very insightful. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. Catch you on the flip side. Make sure to learn for a bright future. And also, uh, these people on the class, it was your confusion that made me make this video. Epic Eric and Hectic Havishay. Voila. All right. Peace. Bye.